Hello guys, welcome again to my YouTube channel, Thoughts of a Theorist. Last time we discussed how to generate a carbon nanotube from the internet. So now we will be discussing how to dope a carbon nanotube, be it interstitial doping or substitutional doping, or if we just want to functionalize our carbon nanotube or any nanomaterial, so this tutorial is the best tutorial for you. So just recall, last time we showed that we generated our carbon nanotube from the tube gen online from the um, University of Delaware. And then if we click this one, then we can then construct automatically our carbon nanotube of interest. Last time we chose the 77 armchair carbon nanotube, which is theoretically a metallic carbon nanotube. Now suppose we want to construct or generate four supercells of carbon nanotube that extends towards the z-axis. So the format here is actually this one. This is I, J, K, or, or X, Y, Z. So we need to construct four supercells or depending on your choice. You, know, you can construct five supercells. So if you want five supercells, for example, so you just have to press five, and then we have four, or just two supercells. So suppose we want to choose four so supercells of carbon nanotube. So we generate this one. <clears throat> okay, and then eventually uh, copy this one. Now, just like last time, we have to paste this one in a text editor. I am using the notepad because I am currently using a Windows operating system. Okay, so we just have to, again, uh, from the first line or in the first line of our text editor, we have to write the number of atoms. So this is for supercells. So we have 112 um, carbon atoms, as we can see. This is a pristine carbon nanotube or a pure carbon nanotube. No? So we just have to uh, visualize this one first. So we showed last time that I am using the BRI, or BRA. And as we can see, we ha now have four supercells of carbon nanotube. No? We have... Um, we can enlarge this one or we can magnify. Okay, so if we can count, so we have one, this is one supercell, we have second supercell, this is the third supercell, and then we have a total of four supercells of the carbon nanotube. And then to dope this one, we just have to go to the atoms option of the BRA. Now, there are actually many options. We have the NAB or the notched elastic band method, we have the TD. DFT or the tight binding, we have the phonon, geometry, the self-consistent field calculation, we have the, optim the optimization, um, molecular dynamics, density of states calculations, and we have the, the band structures calculations. Okay, so for now, we just have to look on how to adopt these carbon atoms. So it's actually pretty easy. Uh, suppose we want substitutional nitrogen atom. No? So we, we want, or for example, we want uh, okay, we want this one. So we just have to look for the atomic positions of this atom from from this uh, atomic positions here. No, so suppose we click it here. Okay, so we click this one. We just have to look. Okay, so this one. Suppose we want to change this one by substitutional nitrogen atom. So we just have to click this one and eventually. Um, replace it with nitrogen atom. So we now have a nitrogen atom. Okay, and this is colored blue in this uh, GUI. But of course, you can always change the colors of our uh, atoms depending on your choice. Now, suppose no, uh, this one. Suppose we want a. What is this? We want two nitrogen atoms to substitute two carbon atoms. So we have this one, nitrogen atoms. Okay, so that's it. So our carbon nanotube is now doped via substitutional doping by our nitrogen atoms. Okay, now you can always choose another atom. Now, say we want to dope it with boron. So you just have to click it. You have the boron. Okay, so you have the boron atom. Or we can just erase this one. Okay, we can just erase this one. I think, uh, okay, let's look for the options. We can actually uh, erase this one. 
so that we can have a vacancy. Okay, so we now have a vacancy. So you have a nitrogen doping and a dive in a, in a vacancy. It's also possible, no? Uh, suppose we, okay, we return this one to the carbon atom. Okay, the, so that's the carbon atom. So we want a, a dive vacancy instead. So you just have to, again, uh, just do the same, just like last time, and then delete this carbon atom. And then we have now a perpendicular dive vacancy. You know, we say that this is perpendicular dive vacancy because it's perpendicular to the axis of the tube. So if you have questions or if you have some requests about condensed matter physics or about computational physics or about how to construct a certain a certain nanomaterial to be conducted in your experimentations, then you can send me an email, an email, or you can just type your comments on my YouTube channel. Thank you.